One, chick, 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 two, chick, 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 one, chick, two, chick, three, let's go. It's time to solve an equation. First, we'll start off with its true meaning. It's a question that asks which numbers x make two expressions equal. And the numbers x which make the two expressions equal are called the solutions of the equation. And when we found them all, we have solved the equation. So forget about a balance, put away the tiles too. We'll make it simple, see it's something you can do. Solving an equation is fun. Look closely to see how it's done clearly. By using the laws of math, or as some call them properties. You can find all numbers x and then it you have solved. Let's assume that we know what the number x is so we can use the laws of math. And the goal is to get all the terms with x on one side, and that's a fact. Then we move the specific numbers without x onto the other side. And we do this using inverse operations, then we divide both sides. By the coefficient. What do we call moving terms to a side? I believe that word is transpose. It looks like we're getting the hang of it learning as we go. Cheerio! Solving an equation is fun. Look closely to see how it's done clearly By using the laws of math Or as some call them properties You can find all numbers x And then it you have solved ax plus b equals cx plus d becomes ax minus cx equals b minus b And you see what we did there Transpose the terms b and cx Let's go! For this next part we'll change the tempo Day. It's slow. You know that we can't go real slow. And what happens next, you already know. No. We factor out the x on the left side, then we have x times a minus c. As we proceed to solve the general equation, we put to use inverse operations. x equals d minus b divided by a minus c. Is that a solution? Solving an equation is fun. It's so much fun. Look closely to see how it's done clearly. By using the laws of math, or as some call them properties, but you can find all numbers x and then it you have solved. To solve an equation, transpose the terms and use inverse operations. Distribute if you need to, then that'll lead to a number that may be the solution. And if you see a side nut like this, then simplify it so that it is. Now you know how to solve an equation.